Brad, well, just your general thoughts on the game as a whole tonight. Yeah, that was a sloppy game. Um, you know, it wasn't sharpest on execution, probably both sides. Uh, but again, I, I believe we knew we, this game was going to come into effect, uh, you know, the style of game that presents itself when Bemidji plays North Dakota. And uh, yeah, I thought, you know, they got a couple couple of goals early on us. Uh, you know, we mismanaged pucks and they were opportunistic on a couple of plays. I thought the key in that period was getting the, the, the goal by Berg to make it two to one before he went into the locker room for the for, at the end of the first. Uh, just showing that, you know, we had some pushback there and and then kind of battling throughout the game. And I think the biggest thing for me is, you know, we, we've led games throughout the season and won. And now we came from behind to win a game, albeit not the prettiest, but a win's a win. And, and uh, uh, every one of the guys left the locker room tonight knowing that we can be all be better. Um, you know, there's some guys that had some good performances, but in order to win games in those tight checking games, uh, you have to have the majority or all your guys playing your best. Why do you think the Berg and Johannes line was probably your best line tonight? They were north. They were north. They were simple. They were direct. They put they made they put pressure on their D. They made plays. Um, you know, the couple of plays that got on the tape of Berg. Berg made two great shots on that, but you know. Uh, Johannes and Perron made some great plays to get him that puck as well. But, you know, when things aren't going the greatest, you have to simplify your game, put pucks behind defenders, uh, pressure them, get shots to the net. And I thought, you know, in the first period, we had some ozone time, but I thought we were a little pretty on, too pretty on uh, interchanging and do a, playing on the perimeter. You know, you can interchange a couple times, but the puck's got to get to the net and there's got to be traffic there. So I think just being more direct tomorrow in, uh, in a lot of different circumstances, but you know, we'll take the win. The Cameron Berg, you mentioned his shots, and again, he wins the draw for you guys in overtime and was your best face-off guy tonight. Just your thoughts on his... Yeah, he was by a country mile. He was our best face-off guy, and, uh, um, you know, that's an area where the other guys usually are, are stronger, uh, but for whatever reason tonight, you know, they, they were a little on, under uh, under average, and, and he did a really good job of winning a draw. He did that in, in an overtime before, uh, winning a draw back and, and, and in Boston. But at the end of the day, uh, um, we got to be better in a few different areas. I, you know, like I said, our, I thought our D were just okay tonight. I thought they've been a strong point of our team. And again, not to be negative, but at the end of the day, uh, the high bar. We have a high bar here. And again, in order to win games, you have to be have to play at close to your best hockey. And, and tonight wasn't that for us. Jake Levinovich on the o OT play just it looked like a, a pretty good play by him to spot yeah, the line. heads up play. Yeah, at the end of the day, he uh, he could have shot. You know, a lot of times situations teams sell out to block shots. You know, he kept his head up, looked at a lateral play to number nine, and number nine put it in. And uh, and again, it, it, it's so important. Like you just talked about, Brad, starting with the puck. Like you know, we got possession the whole time and, and scored the goal. They didn't have a chance to have possession, and that's uh, that was big. You kind of alluded to the D men who have played really well, maybe not as sharp tonight, and maybe uh, Ludwig not as sharp as normal too. Just uh, yeah, well, and how they fought through that. Well, first of all. Night. First of all, Luddy's been so good for us all year that, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it, maybe if it wasn't his best game, but I'm glad that we found a way to get him a win. Uh, you know, knowing that, you know, he's been at the other end of it, make, helping us uh, get wins uh, through the first part of the season. But again, I, you know, I, I think the biggest thing with our D is, uh, you know, just making sure that we're efficient with our, our puck touches, uh, you know, making sure that we're making tape to tape passes. If we don't, we advance pucks so we don't have to be in our end of the rink. And then I thought a couple times on coverage too, coming into our zone, we were a little bit loose where they got some looks on us. So again, I think just playing more concerted, more more together as a, as a D unit tomorrow. And, and that's part with the forwards too, and coming back and making them rush plays against our D. So that, that's a team concept. Uh, Brad, this was a Bemidji State team that looked a lot like the BSU teams we'd seen in years past, but not necessarily what they'd shown on tape this season. What did you see that was different, maybe, from that group than what they had put out there in yeah. their first 12 games this yeah, year? Yeah, you know what? Um, you know, I know it was a low-scoring game, but just watching video of the four previous games, these guys have some skill. You know, they, they can put the puck in the net, you know, and they can come at you in waves. You know, and I, I thought we did a good job of, you know, after the first two goals, we didn't let it go, go further than that, um, you know. Uh, situation where they can be dangerous, and, and again, they have some players in their lineup that are, that are very elusive, very skilled. And uh, but at the end of the day, they all play the same way. They check so hard, and you know they all play a committed 200 foot game. And then last one for me, just um, just the message to the guys now as you go into game two tomorrow against this group. Yeah, well, again, uh, you got to be positive, right? At the end of the day, I think everybody knows, and I made sure they knew that you know obviously that wasn't our best. Uh, but again, a win's a win, and and it's a situation where. Uh, um, you you got to play a close to a 60-minute game to, uh, to to play against good teams to to come out with that win. And uh, 
you know, I, the message too was, you know, the positive side of it was we, we chased the game to win. You know, I remember last year we were chasing games and sometimes we wouldn't get there. Uh, we chased a game and we won a game. We found a way to win a game. And I think that's the, the positive you got to take out of it. But knowing that we can be a lot better. We left a lot on the table tonight as far as uh, the team concept of the game. But again, tomorrow is going to be another night. And we got to make sure we turn the page and get better in some areas.